right, welcome back. We are here with Emma Sky. Um, and we're gonna do some more investigating. Um, although I think we are close to the start of the first trial, so <laughs> the the second first trial, the non we did a trial. This is Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 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 first trial day rather. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, all right, so uh I totally forget. Um, oh no, are we examining things? Yeah, we no. gave her the white. We gave her the white powder, and now she's gonna let us look at stuff. I think was where we left off. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Thank you for remembering. My my memory is garbage. I <laughs> just like Apollo's. I don't know how <laughs> I remembered that. Uh, that was given to me. I don't remember where that came from. <laughs> okay. The report came in late last night. The body was found much as you see it now, except it was a real body. But why? Why was a body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. He was shot by a pistol. A pistol? Mm, not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Unless you're a cop or a gangster. <laughs> Incidentally, the victim's name was Palmeractus. <laughs> uh, Palmeractus, the, do the doctor. Oh, Palmer right, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> the practice that we can't get into where there's a cop in front of. It's all coming together. <sighs> oh, man. I just received the autopsy report, in fact. You got the autopsy report. Added to the court <laughs> record. <laughs> I mean, really? What's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off pulling a mysterious noodle stand behind me. Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the... After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually, we, we do know where the noodle stand came from. <laughs> the noodle stand's owner is Guy L. Dune. It's Take his... that. <laughs> there's no identification inside the stand. There's no like, there's nothing that indicates who, who owns the stand. Yeah, not the giant, like, banner with his name on it or anything. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of Eldun's Noodles, Mr. Eldun himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. <laughs> Get it? I'm trying to be funny so that we can connect on a... Okay. okay. Yeah, um, mm. <laughs> that saved me a lot of work. Thanks. Noodle stand added to the court record. You just have that in your... <laughs> yeah, just carrying it around. It's fine. <gasps> what sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. You can do okay. it, Apollo. <laughs> I believe in you. First, let's get her story, I think. Um, I, I will preface this by saying uh, Emma was in a special case added to the trilogy for um, releases after the first initial release. Um, she was in a case with her sister, and you had to, like, defend her sister and get her, uh, you know, off this murder charge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And she was also like 16 the first time you meet her, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your story. Who, me? <laughs> I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Ooh, were you studying abroad? Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. Uh, but when I got back here, they threw me in criminal affairs. Just like that. That makes no sense. I know, right? <laughs> Why didn't you just become a forensic, si a forensic expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but I had a lot of favors to repay to the people back here. 
Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an <clears throat> incident before I left, but Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. <laughs> She's been out of the country for a while. She probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current um, <clears throat> state of affairs. <laughs> that he's washed up and depressed. <laughs> <laughs> that he's a piano man. <laughs> oh, no. No, the other guy's the piano man in this game. <laughs> Get it? Because Clavier oh, was God. a piano in German. Okay, anyway. <laughs> no, I get it. I just didn't think it was good. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, Chell, I can always count on you to shoot me down when I need it most. <laughs> um, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yes? Waki Kitaki. I don't know if he is the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around, violently, in the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? <sighs> you are a defense attorney, aren't you? Y you're not his by any chance. Er, uh, actually, y yes, I am. Well, we have a witness to the moment of the crime. Uh, the witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? Okay. Well, that got harder. Yeah, right? <laughs> Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently, he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off, too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is the Maractus Clinic. Hmm. Maybe that's why there's a cop. Maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. Yeah, yeah. that's a good deduction, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> We're all working really hard. We're all doing great right now. <laughs> What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah, though on a related issue. I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. I see. So that means Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way here? <laughs> that would seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask me. I'm still trying to figure shit out. This is, <laughs> this is bizarre. It is very bizarre, yes. Um, I think there is some stuff we need to examine here as yeah. well. So let's do that. Because last time she yelled at us, we didn't get to touch anything. She's mean. Yes. Yes. Now we can actually look. Uh, so what do we want to look at first? Um, the I There's so much going on. Uh, the weird <laughs> police thing. The weird, the, not a, it's a police okay. statue man. Yeah, they're using it. Yeah. Okay. This mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. A mannequin in a place of a body. The body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the noodle stand thief? What? You think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah! Taking care of business, like Plum Kataki style. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. Try not to sound too eager about that, please. <laughs> she just, she has a new, um, she's like a new person to look up to. I think that's good for her. A new female role model. Yeah. I think uh, I'm going to do the side by side for the investigation scene. So just so it's not as jarring for the viewer. Um, yeah, that's totally fine. Yeah. So um, let's, what else? Can we, uh, can we investigate? I don't know when we can. Can we investigate that, that like, a trash can? Uh, yes, we can. There's got to be a good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. <laughs> Please. Can't you see I'm doing my... Huh? L look! Another pair of underwear. Wow, Apollo. You're a genius. And you're a genius at finding panties. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Stop saying that. Wait, these aren't. They're not mine. Could these have been stolen too? Bloomers added to the court record. 
All right. Okay. Second pair of underwear. Um, uh, the, let's see. What's that? Can we investigate the ground around the crime scene? Yeah. Or is that, well, just give us the mannequin. Okay. <clears throat> Blue tarps have been placed on the ground around the stand. Apollo, I bet the victim was going to have a picnic here. <laughs> I guess he could have eaten all the noodles he wanted. Don't touch those. Those are preserving the crime scene. Oh, I guess the police put these tarps here after all. Okay. What if we just examine the stand in general? Yeah. Does that give us anything? Probably. <laughs> and this is Mr. Aldoon's noodle stand. Uh, obviously. <laughs> I wonder what gave it away. <laughs> it does say Aldoon in big letters, doesn't it? It sure does, Trucy. I'm glad you can read. <laughs> Shocking the police didn't put that together. Oh, I know. And that mark on this paper... Oh, wait. And that mark on his paper lantern there looks familiar going to be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. Anyway, that wraps up three of our cases. That's right. Congratulations, Apollo. And leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just have to solve a murder. <laughs> he doesn't have to solve a murder. He has to defend someone. He's not a detective. Well, he's he, been saying that the whole time. But he is, though. <laughs> That's when how their detecting. justice system works. <laughs> uh, uh, what's the blue bucket? Sure. And this is... Oh, oh okay. Again. All right. It's all the stand. Um, I guess it's normal. All right. <laughs> okay, I... Is that everything here? Uh, there's a knife in the ground. Oh, I couldn't see what that was. <laughs> it's a knife. A shiv, to be precise. Ooh, lingo. <laughs> the defendant, Waki Kataki, is the son of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Uh-huh. Look at this, there's a handprint on the shift. A handprint? Then there might be a fingerprint. Let's investigate. Were you just gonna assume that belonged to the murderer and not print it? Yep. <laughs> right. Uh. First, choose the <laughs> fingerprint you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. See, there's more than one fingerprint there. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Okay, the darkest one, obviously. Yeah, that looks like the best one, huh? Okay, right, let's get to detecting. Or, right, let's get detecting. <laughs> I've given you no bad reading. <laughs> <laughs> it's contagious. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wow, she's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum powder, powder over the print. I do have bad reading disease. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Just touch the screen like this. <laughs> oh, the oil left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder, so you just dust it on and blow it off. B blow? <laughs> oh, no. It's like whistling. You know how to whistle. <laughs> you know how to whistle, don't you? You just put your lips together and blow. <laughs> Peppa oh. Pig style. <laughs> also, I would, that's not scientific at all. You shouldn't blow on the evidence. <laughs> you should use a brush to gently yeah. wipe off the excess powder so you're not cross-contaminated. Nope. Wow, amazing. It's like magic. It's just like magic, Trucy. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Right, let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. All right, um, hopefully the, the blowing mechanic works, because I don't know if it's going to. <gasps> Excuse this the clicking. This is going to be <laughs> very interesting, uh, because, of course, this is... Mm. Does this work? 
Does this yes. work? Yes. Oh. Yes, it does. Wow. <laughs> I did have the input set, so. <laughs> okay, great. I'm so happy that worked. <laughs> hmm. Good, clear, quite impressive. Next, to match the print. The police office has samples so you can tell whose finger this print belongs to. Hmm. That doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. <laughs> Apollo, someone has died. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo, I hate detecting, but also that doesn't sound as much fun as my other detecting. Okay, pick the print you think it is. Whatever. I, I missed the line. <laughs> you probably oh. have a good idea whose knight this is already. Okay, so we can go through all of the, the fingerprints and what they look like. Uh huh. And there's our guy. Wow. Science. Definitely science. <laughs> this is how science works. It's not not science. I mean, yeah. Like, it, it could those be worse. lined up kind of with the places <laughs> where you would seemably match fingerprints. Yeah. But like. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, the um, the mini games for for deduction are are super fun. <laughs> <laughs> so the fingerprints do belong to the defendant. Yes, isn't it amazing? Ah, oh, the power of science! It's my life. Apollo, she's sparkling. <laughs> no, just gay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm dimming. <laughs> <laughs> you are quite dim, Apollo. <laughs> Look sharp, spirits up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. The trial hasn't even started, and I'm already losing. You can't lose losing something that hasn't started. Losing to what? All right. To himself. I guess. His own sense of the fact that there's a murder weapon, there's a witness. Yeah, I mean, like, everything oh. is kind of stacked against you at this point, but. So, have you met the defendant? Ah, uh, um, <clears throat> no. The sitting hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and heading over. Good idea. I don't know what good it will do. We have a witness and a knife with prints. Have I mentioned I've got a bad feeling about this? We're in Star Wars now. No. I, mm, I, oh yeah, we sure are, huh? <laughs> don't worry. Where's my robot friend? Well, that's in, okay. <laughs> is there a robot, is there a robot friend? Not in this game. Mara, if there's... In a later game, is there a robot friend? Yes. <laughs> there are two <gasps> robot friends, in fact. Uh-huh. Uh, mm, uh, yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Let's go to the tendons. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. It's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. Also, I'm not a right. Fuck off. <laughs> All right. If you didn't want to be adopted in my family, you would have <laughs> me when you had the chance. <laughs> Forcibly adopted. Uh, all right. Um, I think we have to go back to the agency and then go to the detention center because that's how these work. June 15th, detention center, visitor's room. I'm sorry. Meeting hours for the day are all done. But, but we still have three minutes. Uh, I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. The father? You mean like a priest? <laughs> I mean like the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred Bing, Big Wins Kitaki himself. Big Wins! Big Wins! No way! <laughs> Big Wins, baby! It's all about the myths, baby! Love the <laughs> Love the Mets. Let's go to Mets. <laughs> Not someone I care to meet. All right, this is you. Die, you. You're the one on your way out, old. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Uh, they're here. Whoa. 
This guy radiates power. Look at that apron. <laughs> it's a threatening I'm, apron. I'm, it's I'm in love with this apron. <laughs> How do I get this apron right. in my house? <laughs> power with a cute apron. <laughs> you walk, he's lawyer. I, yes, sir. Well, I'm Big Wins Kitaki. Fourth head of the Kataki family, capiche? Definitely not. Definitely not Japanese. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> uh, actually, I came to speak to your son. Mr. Justice. I yes? My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he were found guilty, it wouldn't be good. Capiche? Definitely, again, Definitely not Japanese. <laughs> I'm. I would like to say that I'm obsessed with this taking place in LA. <laughs> We're doing this bit. We decided to make him a Mets fan. I. Yeah. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Big wins for the Mets, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am all about capiching. Capiche. Loud, loud and clear. <laughs> you gotta do more than just understand to make it. You'll learn, though. Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. I... I don't feel so good. This is you. What's the big idea, old man? You can't treat me like a kid anymore. Not now. <laughs> you can lean into your New York if you so choose, but that's up oh, to yeah. you. <laughs> I w you can't... You know, I... I... I wanted to go into the clink. I like it and I like it here. You must be Waki. A G's not a G till he does hard time, biz boy. <laughs> You'll see. When I get out of here, things will change. Silence. <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. Forgive me if I had of a... A hard time believing that. Ha! You can't take me under your wing this time, old man. You had me. I don't need no trial. I did it. <laughs> I think that's enough for today, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so much for talking to our client. But we made so much progress today. We even found my panties. I had fun at least. Of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. How am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, I almost forgot. It's time for my show. Tonight I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. <laughs> I'm assuming the Wonder Bar is not like a real bar because this is a child. Yes, I, I will say that I, I have performed at bars when I was underage. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, and, and you can do that. You just have to have, like, parental supervision, and they have to sign off on it. It's a whole thing. Um, but it, it's probably just, like, a performing space. Yeah. Just because they seem to like, they seem to like magic, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm imagining the parental supervision just... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's certainly something, huh? All right, I'm going to switch back. There we go. <laughs> oh, June 16th, 9.46 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Okay. Huh. Mr. Wright's not here today? He said his old foot injury was acting up. Okay, it's like two days old. It, it's two days old. It's... Maybe there's an older, another older injury, <laughs> an even older I foot mean... injury. He does seem to get injured quite a lot. Old injury. He was all smiles yesterday. Yes, he smiled when he said we'd we'd be fine as long as you're as long as you're there, Trucy. <laughs> yes. Fine. We'll be fine. Here comes justice. <laughs> God. Still trying to make this catchphrase work. Sounds like you're launching a Gundam. Let's go. Here comes justice! Justice laser! <laughs> like, oh, that's not... He, his, he should at least have, like, a laser or something. He just has, like, a lie detector. It's... Wait, anyway. <laughs> it's a... 
Oh yeah, the thing where my eyes, where I can see when people are lying. That's super lame. It's very cool. It is kind of cool. <laughs> I started my voice training at five this morning. I'm sure your neighbors loved that. <laughs> Ooh, do some now. I want to see, er, hear. <laughs> huh? Oh, 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 okay. <clears throat> my name is Apollo Justice and I'm fine. Affirmations are good. It's yeah. good to have affirmations. <laughs> it's good to have affirmations. And also, um, we stand a transvest king working on his vocal folds. <laughs> <laughs> God, it's more work than I'm doing. I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm doing so many exercises. I know you're putting in the work and I'm just like, I'll take my little shot and I'll see what happens. <laughs> I mean, like, I I don't want to go on to you just because I don't want I don't want to fuck with my my voice for job purposes. But like I, I want I want a masculine voice. So I've been really working at it. So <laughs> you, it's, unfortunately, the viewer have to deal with me. <laughs> I, I think I think it's going great. The viewers have to deal with my voice squeaking as my vocal <laughs> horns. Well, yeah, because like your your bass vocal is still up in a higher register. So like adjusting to the new folds are, is hard anyway sorry <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to get off track i'm so sorry <laughs> i i hear vocal vocal exercises and i get really excited <laughs> that sounds more like more like a self mantra than a vo than voice training literally what you just said the <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> all right this is you oh i'm fine i'm fine you know what i'm saying G good morning. Yo, sup? Hit me with a guilty verdict, G. See if I care. You just hang loose and let things go with the flow. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not really. Walk. Don't be running your mouth like that in here. <laughs> See, that's the difference between you and me, old man. I ain't afraid of no cops. Real dudes can't ke can't keep it real till they spend some hard time in the pen. You have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Something we can <laughs> all agree on. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like they've sounds like they've both been vocal voice training too, Apollo. God. <laughs> my worst fears realized. The trial's starting, and I still haven't had a real talk with my client. That's the Phoenix Wright experience, baby. <laughs> He's not a right. <laughs> yeah, but he works in the right agency, so he should be used to it. <laughs> it's like second day. June 16th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number four. Oh, there he is, my love. My boy. <laughs> Look at my special boy. <laughs> my special boy is here. <laughs> Judges now in session for the trial of Walkie Kachaki. Judges in session? The trial. I said the trial is now in session. <gasps> sure. <laughs> <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Ready to rock and roll, air judge. Is that what you're going for here? <laughs> Yeah, Is that what just, we're doing? He just calls him Hair Judge. You know, he's ready to rock and roll, Hair Judge. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> he's ready to rock and roll. I think I it's know. pretty clear. <laughs> I, I, ah, it's him. The pr guy from yesterday. He's a prosecutor? <sighs> it's Mr. Gavin's brother. Long time no see, Prosecutor Gavin. Were you taking a leave of absence? You know what? That little band I started in my free time, the thing is we got real popular. Hard to say nine to your fans when three of your singles go platinum, yeah? <laughs> I'm sorry, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> I see. To be honest, I was a little concerned. I feared you might still be distraught over that one trial. You know, where we sentenced your brother for murder? <laughs> Not to worry, Air Judge. 
It's hair. Hair? Like hair, See? like on your head. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'll get it. I'm, you're gonna get it. It's fine. I'm I'm just, you know, me, the German speaker over here, not giving myself clavier. <laughs> you're this was your choice. Yeah. You did this. You never asked if I could pronounce German. You just did that. I did after. <laughs> you did after. You said you want to play comedy, and then after you went, wait, can you pronounce German? And I said, I've seen cabaret, and then we <laughs> moved on. <laughs> I mean, you've also lived with me for like six or seven years, so. I did not listen when you guys spoke German. <sighs> Why does everyone turn to me out when I speak German? <laughs> I knew you were speaking German, but I didn't know the words you were saying because when you speak, little subtitles don't come up with the actual letters. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> wouldn't miss it. Wouldn't miss the. I wouldn't miss this day in the court. Day. Whoa. I wouldn't miss this day in court for the world. All right. It's worth even more than a VIP passes to one of my concerts. Yeah. <laughs> How could I pass up a chance to see the true strength of the little boy who bested my brother? <laughs> Coming out of the gate with the little boy. Ooh. We are going in hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth canceling a show or two. Understood. You may give your opening statements to the court. I know that he's a rock star. Yes. But, like, I'm thinking rock star in the way Monoskin does rock, in which <laughs> I just think it should be those outfits. That's all that I... I also agree. They should be in the Monoskin <laughs> outfits all the time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just wanted to... Before no, that... trust me. <laughs> Before that, I was thinking, is the air in this courtroom not a bit serious? It is a court of law. <laughs> that's no way to get the crowd jumping, hair judge. Hair? Just like the... That's so stupid. Yeah, I like hate, hair on your head. I hate <laughs> language so much. <laughs> all of it. I'm sorry. And you can keep that in. I hate all language. They're not supposed to jump. This is a courtroom. Ah Chung, baby. Today we play it my way. What's that noise? <laughs> he brought his Bluetooth speaker with him, and it's just playing his own music. Oh my god. <laughs> sometimes you have to get sometimes you have to get on up in order to get down to prosecute it. <laughs> That, that doesn't make sense, dude. That this is crazy. The victim, Pal Maractis, the director of the Maractis Clinic. The scene, People Park. He was found pulling a noodle stand. What in the world was a doctor doing pulling a noodle stand? Yes, I believe. You will only find that out by asking the defendant. Right here, right now. It's an undeniable truth that he shot the victim. What do you mean undeniable? If you are, if you are, if you are to glare at anyone, hair judge, hair justice, wow, glare at the punk in the defendant's chair. <laughs> His crime was witnessed and quite clearly, you see. Very well. Please admit this witness to the court. No. <laughs> Nine. Not yet. <laughs> I like how your only reaction to that was just, no. <laughs> anyway, I love him. <laughs> People take this man seriously? <laughs> they shouldn't. They really shouldn't. I agree with that. If I saw someone do that in a court of law, I w would mock him relentlessly. I'm also not. <laughs> That's mean, but also like, buddy. <laughs> what do you mean? He's totally serious. He's a serious First. character. <laughs> He's my First. poor little meow meow. 
Your, no, your <laughs> criminal meow meow has to be an enemy of the state. <laughs> First, there is a little matter to be cleaned up. Could you talk without the accompaniment? I like to imagine he has guitar covers of all these songs. <laughs> I'm now thinking the in-game music is also playing in the courtroom. Yeah, uh, but yeah, he, only for trials that he's in. Yeah, and he changes them depending on the mood. You gotta keep the mood right. Uh, I swear I could see the guitar for a second. <laughs> what is it, Prosecutor Gavin? The motive, Hair Judge. Why did the little punk do it? Why did he kill the director of the Maractus Clinic? Objection! Objection! Not so fast. The defendant doesn't have to explain that. Oh? But what if the defendant specifically requests to do so, as he did this morning? I want to give... I want to give a shout-out to my homies, I believe he said. <laughs> what? What is... What is right? <laughs> no. Right is your boss. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't make that joke again. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're, I, you, we will continue to make it because the game will make it for us. Yeah. Uh, they always say that on the stage you should... They always say that on the stage you should hit the crowd with speed and ferocity. Sounds like he got you good, huh, Polly? <laughs> Wow, who said are you on, little girl? Jersey's just like, okay. <laughs> well, this is highly unusual, but the court will now hear from the defendant concerning his motive in the crime. So, you, son, are the defendant. Walkie, are you? I ain't your son, old man. You step to a kataki, you best be prepared to step strong. You step to a public official, you best be prepared to step into jail. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta hand it to him. Walkie sure has guts. It's not his guts I'm worried about. Apollo's gonna have like a small, like, <laughs> he's, medical incident. Yeah, he is. He's gonna get like a stomach ulcer from stress. <laughs> Well then, the court will now hear testimony on the defendant's motive from the defendant himself. All right. Waki Kataki's truth. I'll tell you one thing, that doctor was a was a quack. <laughs> Someone had to show him what's what. I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed up my op something bad. And then he just lets me go, without a word. See you later. Bye. So I go and get another doc to patch me up again. That was the day I'm done, figured out. No OG's gonna let that pass. That's why we went to his pad that night. N know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're saying you were one of the victim's patients. A lot of stuff goes down when you're keeping it real on the street. True that. I'll tell you one thing, that doc was whack. Hmm, very well. The defense may begin the cross-examination. I can't believe this is the first time I'm hearing about all of this. I can't believe I have to hear about this at all. <laughs> <sighs> all right. So let's go through. <laughs> okay, uh, let's... Well, let's go through this. Next time, see you there. Bye.